open, uh, quote unquote, restore trust. That's what he just said. Issue so that we can restore trust. People will remember this for the rest of their lives. If my trust has been violated by an, a person, uh, an, an organization, I'm not responsible for uh, restoring trust. I'm not responsible for forgiving them. I'm not responsible for moving forward. They are responsible for making amends. If they don't make amends, then that actually, if they don't make legitimate amends, then that actually reinforces my sense of lack of trust. It, 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 it confirms that I'm right in not trusting these people who, who violated the situation at, at one point and then never made appropriate amends. That confirms my mistrust. And he's saying we have to move forward, but he's putting the responsibility on the public to move forward. For this country, for us to have a reckoning about this particular issue so that we can restore trust. People will remember this for the rest of their lives. I think yes. the reason that these that the people who are in charge of these institutions don't do such a thing is because they're surrounded by a bunch of people who all think very similar to them. They're not really being exposed to ordinary people on a regular basis. They're in an echo chamber. They're patting each other on the back all the time. And for that reason, they're in an echo chamber. So in 2018, 2019, I did write an article called the pharmaceutical echo chamber. I'll show you the image from that. But it basically uh, diagrams what he just said, and that is these people live in a pharmaceutical political bubble uh, that feeds on itself with political power, pharmaceutical sales, drug company profits, and that feeds into medical education, medical journals, and the whole, you know, multi-million, probably multi-billion dollar advertising industry for pharmaceutical products, which then influences every level of journalism, because every level of journalism that's running drug company ads wants to also groom the audience with drug company friendly articles. And if you want to see the some of the worst examples of that, uh, look at the British Medical Journal, 